Can you look up the director's name for me? Yeah, I can look up the director's it name. It starts with a J. It's it's a re- it's like three. Like three but words. you can't edit it. As a trade-off, you can't edit it to make yourself look like you knew the director's name. Fine. Kong Squad. And look how beautiful this IMAX 3D ticket that I just got. Kong Skull Island. Directed by uh, Jordan Vote Robert. And... I was kind of looking forward to this movie, honestly. It was in my top ten, probably top five most anticipated films. And it was a sequel um, coming off of the movie Godzilla, which I enjoyed. Godzilla is a little bit more creepier and a little bit more darker than Kong, but Kong is something entirely different, and I loved it, and we're here to talk about it. So it's about this uh, character, John Goodman's character, who is uh, works for this company called Monarch that uh, tries to find things that originally controlled the earth long before mankind and like a dominant species like a dominant species and that's what he believes in and then they find this island after all these years i guess he tries to get the senator or some kind of senator i don't know some big politician to get the okay to go down there and he brings this military group he brings this photographer this mercenary to find proof that monsters exist start off with the positives kong obviously is my number one he just had such a unique and different style from other kongs that we have seen before kong he is so huge and he's not even at his full height yet so breathe that in for a second but versus king kong the original which i'd never seen actually wow it's longer ago than I thought it was. What, like since 1962. I actually watched a little bit of it yesterday. Um, rubber it, man suits? I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it, honestly, King Kong's rubber suit is, like, the face is terrifying. Ow. And some of the shots are just, like, so random and out of place that it's super funny. But, I mean, for back then, that's what you did. So the next positive is I think everyone did a fantastic job with their performance and the acting and sometimes the dialogue was hit or miss in certain areas but i thought everyone did 110 percent but for me and my viewing experience me and my friend were laughing every single not line. me didn't see it he didn't see it but oh yeah that was supposed to be the review but i won't tell him next positive is the action the action is very very good it's very unique there's a sense of new fresh take in the monster universe with how they do the scenes especially in the third act I don't want to give away what, how exactly, but there's a scene with Tom Hiddleston and a sword, and it was, wait for it, legendary. The last positive is the CGI and the use of scope in this film. You feel the presence that you are just a tiny little speck. Negatives now, it was the CGI usage with neon lights all over uh, the night sky when John Goodman's talking to Samuel Jackson, and it looked like crap. It looked like the CW effects. No offense to the CW. Last negative with this film. The dialogue was hit or miss with one particular scene with Brie Larson, and then some of the humor, um, not not with uh, John C. Reilly, like maybe one little comment wasn't as funny as the other ones, but there was the, um, with Jason Mitchell's character and the other guy's character, they're like co- compadres, they're just, they hang out, they're war buddies, and some of their dialogue, their lingo, their lingo back and forth, just, it didn't work for me. I wanted to feel the connection between them, to, between uh, their friendship and their brotherhood. Uh, um, it just, yeah, it didn't work. That is my thoughts about Kong Skull Island. My score for this, this is kind of weird because it's in between, so I'm gonna start doing this and he actually brought it up that I should do it because it's okay. not a solid stellar bro. For some reason, I cannot get it. And it's not a sure take my money. It's in between. It's a low ball stellar bro. <laughs> it's either a low ball stellar bro or it's a strong, sure, take my money. It's in between there. I don't want to give a number scale. You guys already know where it should be. (laughs) Please have a great day, and don't forget to be blessed.